Hey guys, I'm Abhishek from Xforce and I'm going to show you how to create a bootable Windows 10 USB and Linux. So the first thing you need is the Windows 10 ISO. You can download it from Microsoft's website. Uh, here you just go and just fill up the details to download it. If you're wondering why you need this, there could be various reasons. For example, if you have dual boot of uh, windows and linux you will and if you want to remove linux from it it is better to have a windows 10 bootable usb in case you want to fix the boot uh, loading after you remove linux from it that's quite important and so for this purpose we are going to use an open source tool called i don't know how to call it actually wo usb port usb whatever it is called this open source tool is what we are going to use. It's a GUI tool and you can easily use it uh, once you have downloaded the Windows 10 ISO. Um, you can install it in from the source code but uh, in Ubuntu there is an unofficial PPA available from web update and I'm going to use that because it's easier to use it that way. So just add the the PPA to repository, update your repository source list so that after this your system will know that there is a Vo USB uh, applications av uh, application available so just install it like this there you go so we have the application installed and now we're going to use it to create a live USB of uh, not live the bootable Windows 10 USB. Uh, you need a USB with at least 5 GB of space. So just plug in your USB. I have a USB which has like 8 GB of free space. So browse to the Windows 10 Windows 10 ISO which you have downloaded. Just browse to it. And add it to to the tool so we have everything ready and install it oh I forgot to mention you should format your USB for doing it and you must format it in NTFS mode uh, the tool actually works only when your you when your USB is in NTFS mode for example here I have it in uh, formatted in it in fat 32 mode and which it doesn't like so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to format it again and this time in NTFS mode I deliberately did that so that if you encounter an issue you will remember exactly why it happened so I'm gonna just zoom in for you to watch it properly it's not very comfortable moving the mouse when it's zooming so NTFS format quick format will do just do that and that's that's more or less it won't take uh, time in you, when you're doing a quick format just a couple of seconds sometimes even less than that so we have it formatted and let's go back and do what we were doing it again so just refresh it so you have the USB there and you'll have to enter your password again and just do it so it will take a few seconds before you yeah. s start to see that um, this will this means that the, the software is writing the windows 10 to the usb that's a good news uh, you will see that your system is a bit lagging when you're doing this because it takes quite some resources i don't know why but that's war that's how it's done and you'll also see that it says done but it's not really done and it takes like 10 to 14 minutes and copying that for me it took like 13 minutes I just I just uh, forwarded all the video so, uh, so that you don't have to sit for, for 10 minutes to do that so just restart your system and then you will see that there's an option for booting in from USB and you can see that Windows 10 is there. I hope you like it. Do subscribe, give a thumbs up and stay tuned for more Linux videos. Bye bye.